Hey guys, welcome back to the Whimsical Workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own Peeps pillows. Who doesn't love Peeps candies? And these little pillows made out of David Textile Fleece are just awesome and cuddly. So stay tuned. Yay! So here's what you'll need to make this Marshmallow Bunny pillow. You'll need a 5 8 of a yard of your favorite color fleece. We have two here because we're making two colors. You'll need the template enlarged and the template for the eyes and nose. Fusible web of your choice, some black fabric, a marking pencil, and wonder clips. First thing you need to do is, after you enlarge your bunny template, is cut it out on the solid line. And then we're going to trace it onto two layers of the fleece. So I've got two layers of fleece here and I just laid this guy on there and cut a piece a little bit bigger than what I needed. And now I'm going to go ahead and trace this using the Sharpie marker. Find a way that you like the way it lays and in you go. And this is a very forgiving project, so if you're a little off, it's not the end of the world. Just try to get as close to the paper as you can. Tracing tip, hold your pen upright. Don't hold it at an angle, and you're going to get a much more even line all the way around the template. You'll see I'm not doing this, I'm leaving it up. Okay, so that is step one. Oops, this part of his body, hang on. There we go, all traced. All right guys, to finish the eyes and nose, you're going to trace the shapes onto the paper side of the fusible web. Roughly cut it up, and iron it onto the wrong side of the fabric. Cut out each shape on the drawn line, position them on the bunny, and finish the edges. So to do the sides of the bunny pillow, you need to fold your strip, your four and a half by 50 inch strip, in half. Now this fabric has a right and a wrong side. So I'm going to put it wrong sides together. I'm going to put it right sides together. And then I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam down this side so that I end up with a big loop like this. All right, so let's do this again. So to put the sides onto the front, take the seam from your tube and align it with the bottom of the bunny and clip these two pieces together. And just work your way around and put a, your wonder clip every two inches at the most. I mean, it is a radius edge, so um, you're going to want to clip, 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 and just sort of pleat this, you know, let this kind of drape in here. If when you get all the way around, there's a little bit of play, this is a very, very stretchy fabric. Just work your way back, unclip, pull a little, unclip, pull a little, and eventually you'll work it all into the bunny. Um, it is the right measurement. It's just sometimes it's a little stretchier than others. So uh, that is a tip on pinning it. And this is the hardest part of the whole bunny. There we go. We are all ready to go and sew this on. And that's what it looks like all clipped. So once you've sewn the front on, you need to pin the back on. And you're going to start at the top right where between the bunny ears. So you can align those two pieces and make sure that this back piece is on the same as the front. You're going to wonder clip all the way around, leaving an opening for turning. So once you have your front and your back sewn onto your side, you're gonna stuff it full of polyfill through the opening. Okay, now that we've got both our pillows stiffed, it is time to turn them over. And I'm going to clip 
these and hand sew them closed. So now that I have this done, I'm just going to hand sew it closed and we will be done with our bunny pillow. Here are our little marshmallow bunny rabbit pillows, one in pink, one in turquoise. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on how to make these cute, adorable guys, and they're super soft and comfy. Um, if you have, make sure you leave a comment below and like and subscribe. And as always, I thank you for watching.